So Google has just created and released a new course on generative AI, and it's free. And it's only just come out, so I haven't had a chance to take the course yet, but I've had a quick look through it, and it does look pretty good. So let's move over there and I'll show you. Right, so let's take a closer look. Now, I don't want this to be a very long video, so I'm gonna really uh, go through this quite quickly. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at the general learning path and see uh, an overview of the modules, and then we'll take a closer look at two or three of the modules, uh, and then that will be that. So here's the uh, learning path. There are 10 modules, as you can see, and they're mainly introductory modules on various different topics. So there's a general introduction to generative AI and then large language mod models, uh, introduction to image generation, and then there's an overview of encoder and decoder architecture and an overview of attention mechanism. So this is a really important module, this one, uh, and then a few others. Let's have a quick look. So one of the things I like about the first module is the reading list. It's quite comprehensive and it's good to see that it's got this attention is all you need reference there. So that's this paper that came out in 2017, which really was responsible for a lot of the uh, advances that we've seen in AI recently. So uh, do the module, then read the paper. There's also a little quiz at the end too. Now, module two, I really like module two because, it, well, it's for a general audience um, and there's no prerequisite uh, uh, knowledge required. So it's a good overview of how LLMs work, which is really important because I'm no expert on LLMs, but I think there's quite a lot of confusion about, you know, how they work, what they're capable of, and especially what they're not capable of. And you can see that a lot in sort of popular uh, newspapers and magazines and articles that have been written in, in those publications and on websites where the journalist hasn't really understood how they work or what they do, which leads to sort of a lot of confusion amongst the audience as well. So that's a really good module. And it's for a general audience, which is interesting because then when we get to this module, which I also like, uh, the introduction to image generation, this is for, it seems, a different audience. So this has prerequisites of machine learning, deep learning, and CNNs and Python programming. And the audience is for data science, uh, data scientists, machine learning engineers, and researchers. But don't let that put you off. If you don't fall into that category, then uh, you know, in, image generation is really interesting and diffusion models are really interesting. So, you know, I think if you've moved along the path and you've reached this point and you want to know how they work, take a look. Uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. And then finally, the other one I wanted to have a look at was the attention mechanism, which is such an important topic uh, on gen in generative AI that uh, it would be silly to miss it out, even if you don't really uh, fall into, again, the uh, audience that it's aimed at, which is data scientists, machine learning engineers, and software engineers. I mean, if you do, great, but if you don't, don't let that put you off. I mean, it's only 45 minutes long, so it's, it's not gonna go into too much detail. And you, know, you can always read around the subject. Uh, so, those were the modules that I wanted to show you. 